halogen headlights are a shining example of progress. The halogen bulb throws cool white light that mimics daylight illuminating the road ahead. And because they're energy efficient, they don't burn out too often. A real plus when you're trying to keep your eye on the road. To make a halogen headlight, mechanical jaws load three lead wires into a machine. A gripper moves in and bends the wires at the bottom. Meanwhile, a conveyor system feeds small glass rods to a burner. The softened glass is now pressed onto either side of the lead wires, encasing them. Next, a welding head fuses tungsten coils to the lead wire assembly. The coil is the filament, the part of the bulb that emits light. At another station, a mechanical arm loads a glass tube into a machine head. A burner aims a flame at the centre to soften it up. Then, mechanical heads pull the glass at both ends as the burner continues to fire heat at the middle. This creates a neck in the tube. Now, mechanical arms position the coil and lead wire assembly under the newly shaped glass tubes. Grippers lower the glass tube over the wires so they sit under the neck. Burners move in and encircle the glass at the bottom, softening it. Then a press seals the glass around the lead wires, which protrude from the bottom. Next, a test. An electrode sparks the lead wires. When the capsule illuminates, it means there's ambient air inside that would interfere with the bulb's function. Vacuums at the top of the bulb suck out all the air and contaminants. Then nozzles spray liquid nitrogen onto the bulb. This freezes it inside and out, creating a pressure difference. That change in pressure pulls halogen gas into the bulb from a chamber above. Allowing no time for the gas to escape, burners heat seal the bulb at the neck. The bulbs then cool as they move on a transfer chain. Grippers now load the bulbs into another machine. A pusher moves up and snaps a steel retainer around the bottom of each bulb. Meanwhile, another machine builds the base for the bulb. It pushes electrical contacts into the plastic receptacle. This is the view from the bottom. These prongs will eventually connect the headlight to the vehicle. Next, jaws turn the bases over. They load them onto a tray on tracks. The tray delivers the plastic bases to a mechanical arm that installs metal retainers on each one. The bases slide forward and the machine inserts the glass bulbs into them but it's a loose fit. This machine aligns each bulb to its base. Jaws tilt and slide it into place. Then a laser welds it together. The alignment is critical. Coils for the low beam and high beam mechanisms must be precisely positioned. Next, a series of claws pick up the bulbs. and dip them in an opaque coating called black top because it only covers the tops of the bulbs. This will direct light out of the sides of the bulbs. Now it's time to take these bulbs for a test drive. A bracket holds them down while probes underneath energize them to make sure they work. Plunger places a gasket around the base. This will seal the headlight capsule to the car. And now they're ready to shed some light on the situation.